Hello, it's Sharon. How are we all today? It's still very, very warm here in the UK. We had a terrific thunderstorm overnight. Is it any cooler? No. So I'm doing some work on my uh, magical uh, tea party themed journal from the kit of the same name by Line.Arrow, uh, which is available on Etsy. And I thought I'd do, oh, that shouldn't be in there. I thought I'd do some more work on the journal and bring you along with me. So yesterday I finished decorating the, well, I think I finished decorating the front. I did stick the tea bag over the top of that, but I changed my mind and redid it because I do quite like that loose. There's the back. Um, I put this plate on yesterday and I put a little butterfly of the kit and I have glazed it can you see there with some diamond glaze <coughs> now inside i put oh she says i have just glued that onto there actually so let's just uh pin that oh, let's just put a bit of extra glue on there that should have glued it must be because it's so warm or something just get some fabric okay and just glue i've got the the glue ring put out the glue there we go that's on there that's um sort of an apple green that i dyed using and it's uh, from a vintage wedding dress there's a tea bag there then yesterday um we did the interior i'm still suffering from my explosion of glitter from yesterday can you see I don't know if you can see the glitter on there. So let me bring it up. Can you see? I put gesso on. You can just about see the glitter. There is a lot of glitter on here. And it's really, really sparkly. But the camera just doesn't seem to be picking it up. And my little butterflies, which are out of the kit, except for these two. These others out of the kit, I have put some diamond glaze on. I like the way they sort of, they're stuck firmly down to the tulle but they've sort of curled and brought the tulle with them so I quite like that effect and I put one of the little um fairies out of the kit in there so that's where I'm up to with the cover <coughs> just move that out this that way so I've got four which I am signatures which I am sure will become three because there's one but there's the second one the first one you can, that I've worked done a bit of work on you can see how thick it's gone so I'm pretty sure these four will become three so yesterday let me sit down show you what I did <coughs> I've gessoed all the pages now I've used um, clear gesso oh, sorry I've used clear gesso no, no sorry I haven't used clear gesso I've used white gesso just thinly on there but it gives it the <clears throat> this is the paper without treatment this is the paper with treatment and it just gives it that texture and plus <clears throat> my glitter's still going everywhere i was hoovering last night at half past 12 because there was just there was just glitter absolutely <laughs> <laughs> from the embossing powder. I don't know if you saw yesterday's video, but it was good fun. It was good fun. So, yeah, so I've gessoed the pages. In here, I've stuck a pocket that I've made. It isn't the, um, the pocket wasn't, what am I going to say? It was made for a different journal. It doesn't come with the kit. But I put on some of the um, tea bag paper that I printed on. So there's the cups and saucers out of the cup, the kit, and it says tea cup. I made this little um, tag myself, and just in the back of there, because I want a vintage feel. I've, this is a reproduction. Whoa! All right, I'm not going to pull it out. This is a reproduction. Uh, room service menu. Hang on. No, it was a reproduction room service menu. So we're not going to be having that in there, are we? I've obviously put that one in too soon. <clears throat> Let's put this one in. 
this is his party special event ticket mm, no i'll find some oh i know what i can put in there oh yes so i've got this vintage postcard and it says pisky gold which are pixies um in cornwall they call them piskies so pixies elves that sort of thing so i'll put that in there there we go right so here i have put some these are actual pressed flowers out of my garden and what i did i just paint i stuck them down and then i painted them with diamond glaze just put the one of the words on there enchanted this has got gesso on i've put pink around all my pages put pop some lace down there just pink these up even on the plain pages i've got gesso on you can write on gesso and just to give it that vintage feel so in the middle i made these um pockets there is let's get my uh room service menu i've just destroyed you've got one two three four pockets there each side and i'll show you how i made those just saw the other side of the glassine bag this is going to be a pocket here at the side little tuck pocket more gesso and then the thing is with it being so warm you think glue's dried and then <clears throat> it's not quite so it catches i didn't gesso the doilies maybe i will i don't know then i made this little faux envelope to go in the back which needs decorating yet i hate it when you have a bit of glue on but i'll sort that out um little faux envelope which i'll show you how to make that is the easiest thing i have ever made here's another one that i did but that one can you see is just a bit too big for the page so i'm not sure i'll be able to do this unless i sort of put it i don't know anyway i've got an envelope there so i'm going to show you, i'm going to work on my next signature now and bring you along with me so this is the next one so i need to gesso i need to pink them first because i'm using the victoria velvet distress i don't know how stood up now off the gesso and i'm just lightly going around my edges i do like to work off the glass because you just it seems to last longer than it inks and you can just bring them up off the glass right, So I wish you had a little bit of a rubber, but I still think it looks nice. I've used like a dark olive the red around. Right, that is stitched. Uh, well, it is stitched and it is inked. So I'll get my gesso and there's two ways you can do this. If you haven't got the jelly roller, you can literally just spread it on like this. You could use a dry brush. There's this sort of method. With a knife. I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll do the other side. Um, Next is this, so I'll see to this one in a minute. The next one, let's just pink around the edge. Should have perhaps had a work top done at. Oh, I actually got one at standing height. Maybe I might use that for some other videos that I do. This one's got a pocket there. This one is lined with um, that size of the paper. This is the printed on tea bag paper. Just 
just gives it a different texture, different effect. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it with the roller. So I'm getting a gesso on my the roller. Oh, I've got a lot on there. Oh, it just protects me that off. Got a bit carried away. I don't want to cover everything up completely. And just roll that around. See it again now. <clears throat> you do need to let them dry, otherwise they start. When you turn them over, they'll start sticking. You can dry them with the heat gun, but I don't want to do that. This next one is one of my envelopes, so I'm not going to do that. These, this is um that I did um eco dyed envelope. See the leaves and flowers. I'm not going to do that one with gesso. And then this one. Just picking up the bits of pink on the glass. I'm just picking that up. Sponge in the gesso then. Yep, that would have been fun. The terrible night last night with the uh, the thunderstorm. Not thunder doesn't bother me, but it certainly bothered my dog. She was not happy at all, and she is Brocco, which is a Springer Spaniel Cocker Spaniel mix, and she decided she she was getting on top of me. She just honestly the first shot of lightning. So she she must have known it was a thunder coming, just with the lightning. Clever, aren't they, doggies? She just I was just dozing off. She just literally jumped on top of me. I'm keeping these papers in order. Back to the first one, which is dried now. I'm putting some on the inside. So like I say, even though it is tea stained, I'm still going over it just to give it that feel. The texture. There we go. And we've just got one more to do to pink up. Little bead there rolling around. I promise, promised myself a little bit of a tidy up today too. I know when I, when I was Ubering last night, because we'd come to bed, and then I decided to come out and to do some crafting. So then I noticed all the glitter on the landing. So, like I said, was it about half twelve-ish? So I start hoovering up. I went back to bed and my husband said, what on earth were you hoovering at that time for? So I said, because of all this glitter, and he said, yeah, well, just why didn't you just do it in the morning? I said, because I'm so frightened of being told off by you. Because the, the promise of this craft room was not like anything go on the floor outside of it. Right. Which I've been very good at, but it's just, you know what it's like with glitter. It just about gets gets absolutely everywhere. Put some more gesso on there. So I'm just putting the gesso on my jelly pie. So if you think about it, you know you plan your signatures, but even just adding gesso adds to those layers. This one. Just put them back in order now. Right, here's the next one. <coughs> I think this was the next one. Yes it was. You 
can do it with clear gesso and obviously that will dry clear even though you, it's white when you first put it on but that also gives that nice sort of textured feel I'm trying to remember what order i'm doing these and i'm not using the dryer i'm not allowing them to dry naturally Yeah, so last night I watched uh, I watched some tea over there on my Kindle. Yeah, I've got a Kindle that's like an iPad. We've got an iPad as well, but I've got my Kindle that looks like an iPad. So I watched some TV. Then I started watching some videos, acting videos. So then I came and did the pocket at the envelope and the four pocket four or five pocket thing in my bubble i was watching natasha at treasure books so i'll show you how she did those i was pretty 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 amazed it like this with speed the speed of it right, put that to wash just move this out of the way gesso right so that's my last page right so what did I do next that I'll just wipe my work surface. You see, there's just glitter. You see it on there, it's absolutely everywhere. I can't, uh, I'm going to have to change my worktop paper and give my worktop a good clean down because it is literally everywhere. dry right I will sit down and straighten that back up right so this is the first page that we did and I want to put something there so I'm going to put one of these envelopes uh, because Get some paper. Use this one. Because this envelope is made from a square of the A4, that's why it worked out too long. So what I'm actually going to do is tear off some of this. Now you can cut it if you want to, of course. But I am a fan of tearing, so so I've just took about half an inch or so, centimeter off each end. And then to get my square, so I'm going to use. Let's have a look. I'm going to use this side, and then I keep my little fairy there. There to get your square, because it must be square. And then just tear off that bit. So you can make these any size you want, as long as it's a square. So there's my square. So then I would put it, so look where you, which bit you want as your inside top there. And I'm going to choose... Oh, do I choose that one? Let me choose that one. So then, fold it in half. See, so fold it into that tri initial triangular shape, and then you fold this. Let's get it on a line there. 
Like that. How easy is this? And then to that to that edge there, you would fold in there and just line everything up. Let's lift that up now. So you just line everything up. This is a great way. I know this isn't a scrap, but it is a great way to use up your scraps too, isn't it? You know, making tiny envelopes. So like that, and then you literally just fold that down on top. I'm gonna bring it in a little tiny bit more, that one. Then you get your glue. Oh, hang on, let's round those corners. So I'm going to round these two, the top and the bottom. Round them. Then I'm going to get my ink, if you want to use an ink, and just ink around all the bits that will be on show. That will be on show there. Of those little white edges and things that will be on show these will be on show and some of those will be on show get your glue i need to dispense my pva into a sandwich five or two liter five litre container so I need to put it into some small smaller nozzle container so we just stick that to there those down like that and I'm going to just put some glue around the bit that we fall down There we go, so how pretty is that? That oh. I think is beautiful. There's the envelope. And then you can embellish that however you wish. So I am not going to embellish it at the moment because I'm gonna do all that at the end. I'm just sorting out the page. So I'm now going to glue that on. So you could glue it on fully. You could glue it on and have a pocket behind if you wanted to. Uh, I think I will. I think I'll just go along these three. No, I'm not. I'm going to glue it in flat. I'm going to glue it as soon as it's, <laughs> it's a journal that I can't put a lot of them. I can only put flat embellishments in. Let's just keep it to uh, keep it to a minimum. Just glue that in there. How super does that look? Ready to be embellished. So that's there. This one, what I did here, is it's two two serviettes. No, it's, no, it's not. It's two napkins. No, it isn't. It isn't even serviettes or napkins, which are the same things. It's two doilies. Let's get it right. Right, so what I did here, just these little bits that I haven't stuck down, just sticking down. So it's two. There's a square one and a circular one. So I got some uh, flowers that I'd been drying in the garden. Pick two off. I'd use these blue ones. Thought they were rather pretty. Just open that out. Got my little brush. Tiny brush, here it 
is. Just dry it. It's got my little tiny brush. I've got my glue. She says. Oh, so I can't undo that one. Let's see if I can unscrew this one. Yep. So I've got my glue and I delicately, because these are very delicate, just bob some glue on the back. You can actually hold this with tweezers if you wanted to. And then I just pop them on. That's one. glue on the back of these just pop that onto there I'll just give my little brush a clean and I dry and I've got my diamond glaze this is Judy Kins Diamond Glaze. Thank you, Mer from Lilac Pages for introducing me to this. And then I literally just painted it on because I don't I didn't want the glaze to go all over the page. I just painted it on. And then I could control the thickness as well of how much to put on. So it's really like decoupaging, is it? Is it decoupaging or collaging this? I'm sure you'll let me know. All you hardened crafters. So that's that one. You see the glaze on that one? Then I'll do the other one. Quiet, as I'm thinking. The house is so quiet, do you know why? Because I'm in on my own. It's Father's Day here. So my son and his girlfriend, who he lives with, Emma, have taken my husband, Ross, and her dad, Steve, to watch some motor racing or something. I don't know. He said it's not racing, but his car's driving fast around a track, so to me that's racing. So they've gone watching that for the day and I'm not expecting him back till later tonight. So this morning I had the luxury of a lion in bed and I, I lay in and I had a read, a cup of tea and then I, I've not got dressed, I'm in my pyjamas and doing what I want, have my brekkie and late breakfast lunch type thing and now i'm coming crafting my other daughter and her boyfriend have taken the dog for a walk so so that is the next page so it'll be like that can you see the glaze on there can you see the glaze on the flowers looks ever so pretty so i'll just allow that to dry so i do believe but this is the next page. Oh, I had this as well, didn't I? No glassine bag in this one. Let's get my pages together and work, try and look out how I've got them. Right, so I do believe that this, let me have a look, was the next page. Was it? Let's have a look. Or was it that one? Actually, no, it was that was the next page. Would have been that and then this so at the moment i'm not going to do anything to this page then there's the envelope then there was the shopping list and then in the middle is that's there this is the middle 
So in the middle here, I'm going to put some of those groovy pockets. These are so easy as well. So you literally get your piece of paper. This one is, uh, boards upside down, 26 centimetres. That's just under, so that's about 10 inches by, I've measured that length, 17, so about seven inches. So literally, you take your piece of paper, this is the right way up, you fold it in half. That's all you do to start off with. Then you fold it in half again. Now this here, this is the open end and this is the side where I want the pockets. So you literally take the first one down. Now you can leave that down like that, it's up to you. I'll show you what I mean after. Then I took the next one and I lined it up with my, to make sure I've got it straight, I just lined it up with my page. Take the next one. That one goes in there. Then the next one, you can line them up with your, with your lines, but I'm just lining them up with like the wording lines on the three. And then the last one is there. Now you can stitch around if you want to do, but I'm just going to glue. So this top one here, I just folded mine under like that. So you've got what? You've got one, two, three, four pockets. So that was that one, and that will go on the left hand page. So now I need to do one for the right hand page. So this time you want your opening on the left. So that one, the opening was on the right. You want the opening on the left. Fold it. Let me check I've got this. Hang on, folded it the wrong way. There we go. She wanted that the right way up. And you're opening on the left because they're going to go opposite each other. Mine are in my book. So the first one. Sorry about my bracelet banging on there. I'm like Tracy Fox. She always had a bracelet banging on. And then people said to her, take your bracelets off when you're crafting. Maybe that's something I need to think about. Not that I'm anywhere near Tracy Fox's level of audience. So they're all about a centimetre apart and I'm just mainly doing that. I've got this as a guide but I'm, I'm just using my eyes. So they're all, when I think they're about the same distance apart. Come on. I'm going to fold that one under. This is from the Concise British Flora in Colour book. So there we go, we've got those. So if I get my pink, Victorian velvet, and then distressed around the edge as you can see. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. I've got this one, this one, and this one. Just do that. This one, this one, this one. And that one. So I'll just ink around these. Aren't they effective? It's so easy, but I do believe that I folded that one correctly. That's better. 
uh, very effective, um, very easy to do. I mean, those are going to look great once I put the tags in out of the kit. Going to look fabulous. And I just think me that the torn edge just adds a bit extra. I don't know what you think. Some people don't like torn edges. My mum goes mad. When I tear fabric and things, I mean, she does tear fabric to, to like cut the fabric. <laughs> but then would neaten off her edge, whereas I would just leave it raw. My mum's like, you can't do that. So I'm just using my fabric tack again, just for speed. And you literally just go, so you open it up and it looks like that. You go down the edge, go across the bottom too. Um, and that thread there. Oh no, you don't want to do that edge. Ignore me there, you do not want to do that edge because that's one of your pockets. So you're just going across there, down there and across the centre if you want to do. So that is that one. So let's do that again. You're going to go along one of your corners along. So you're going along the closed edge the length of the closed edge and just along where it bends, not down these because these are, of course, your pockets. So let's get the middle of the journal. So I've done a left and a right because I'm going to do a left and a right. Like I say, I will embellish them at a later date. Now then, you can if you can stick that down completely flat, and it'll give you one, two, three. Or I'm just going to stick down there and across there, and that gives me the open bit there at the back. So you're literally just doing the L shape. Some more orders to pack. I've got another quite a few. Oh, just glue that down there. Oh, do you know what? I haven't glued down. I haven't glued all these down, have I? I just need to glue those. Or else they'll be flapping at you. You don't need to glue them if you don't want to do. It's just a little triangle of glue on each of these bits. I've forgotten about them. I knew there was more to glue, but I couldn't, couldn't quite think what. And then this one, I mean, you could leave that as a little flap if you wanted to. You could leave it. If you just glued there, you suppose you've got another pocket. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to glue there. That just gives me another pocket. Oh, no, I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to glue all along. Because the more pockets I give myself, then the more I fill it up, don't I? So then the same on this side. So let's glue these first. So just a little triangle of glue on each. Like I say, tacky glue is fine for this. I'm doing it for the video, that's all. So it dries quickly. And then this one. And again, I'm just going to go down the long edge and across the bottom. Long edge, bottom. And that gives me another there in the centre. So you'll have journaling space, I'll have pockets. I've got stamps and stickers and all sorts to go in yet. So those are my pages that we've done so far. around like that so put something in there there this which isn't quite dry yet will sit there that looks pretty and then we've got this one the front one i don't want to touch it at the back but that will go there like that 
That is really nice. Yes, I'm pleased with that. But I definitely do think I'm going to be reducing down to three. Three signatures and not four. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, little craft along with me. I hope you like the envelopes and you like the pockets. And thanks to Natasha at Treasure Box. And uh, the little tip about the gesso helping you to get that vintage look. A vintage feel okay then so i'm sharon alexander this is be divine vintage and i will see you again real soon bye bye